Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. If you don't know me, my name is Brock and I've been working in the fish store for a while now. Many, many years. And I'm just here to try to help you take care of these fish and make sure they get all the right essential things that they need to be happy in your tank and live good so you can be happy and the fish can be happy too. Today we have a very expensive tang, probably one of the most expensive ones that I can think of, but he is beautiful. He's called the Achilles Tang. Prices on him, you'll spend about a solid $200 on him. Tank size, definitely need 180 gallon. He needs that six foot at least of room. I know that's huge, but you need it because this guy is a super hyper tang, loves swimming back and forth through the tank and loves a lot of current. Care level is definitely expert only. I don't even take care of these guys in my tank because it's too small, but we take care of them a lot at the fish store and you definitely need to know your stuff before getting one of these guys. Temper, he can be semi-aggressive. He is a tang, so he will basically become the king or queen of the tank whenever other new stuff is added in. She will definitely might nip at it or check it out. But I would recommend this being your only tang you put in the tank. A lot of time they will fight other tangs. I've seen some people online, they get away with it. They say they stop fighting after a few weeks. But if it's me, I'm just sticking with this guy. Reef compatible, definitely. He's a beautiful reef fish to put in your tank. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. All that stuff is normal, but your water quality, it needs to be pristine. It cannot go through spikes like ever. You have to be on your game whenever you have one of these in your tank because any little mess up in your water can make this guy get sick quick. And it is not good and it's not easy to get them back right diet they are herbivore make sure you're feeding them plenty of sea veggies and they will also eat meaty few meaty foods like creole and mysis brine shrimp stuff like that but you definitely have to make sure to feed them algae i would feed them once a day really a little bitty piece of algae for them to chew on that keeps their health up keeps their colors real pretty and just keeps their overall immune system working really well Max size, they say online they get up to 8 inches. That is a massive tang. That's almost a foot long. Biggest ones I've seen that were probably over 2, 3 years old, they got up to about 5 inches. So you can kind of go by that. Compatibility, just ask. Like I said, I would recommend it being the only tang in your tank. Color is flat black with these really pretty orange outlines. He almost looks like those batfish that are really tall. He is super pretty. You really can't find many orange things in your tank. Origin, they are from Hawaii, which has really made it hard for a lot of us to get them because a lot of the laws are changing over there. Nets are having to be wider, so less fish are caught with them. So if you get one, or if you still have yours, take care of it because it's all very hard for a lot of people to get them. So he does have a little trouble getting to eat a lot of times. If I was you, I would make sure the fish store has him eating good, figure out what they're feeding him, and then go by that. If you do see them sick, I wouldn't recommend getting one because it is hard to get them back. We've had times where people's tanks had spiked because they hadn't done water changes or they were feeding too much. The dude got ick and we did all we could to try to get them back, but it sometimes just doesn't work out. You do need that six foot long tank. These guys are normally found in surge zones in Hawaii, which is basically a flood on the coast. They're swimming like crazy through those. And another thing I saw is people were recommending not to use copper. I don't know what it does to their immune system, but it just doesn't work for them. So make sure you are not copper dosing. Use something else that will help them out. Make sure you have plenty of current in your tank to kind of give them that at-home feel running around your tank. And I think that's it for your Achilles tank. I think I got over everything you need to know to take care of this guy. I would definitely recommend that you are on top of your game for your reef tank to keep this guy that's it i hope y'all enjoyed this make sure to like and subscribe and i will see y'all later and just check out my other videos leave some comments down below if you have one let's see how it's doing i'll see y'all later